Hello, and welcome to the Teaching English as a Second Language Digital Teaching Certificate course. We are so happy you could join us in this new adventure. Many of you are probably well-seasoned teachers who have a good deal of experience teaching face-to-face -face courses, and many of you may be just beginning your careers as educators. Whatever your background or experience may be, you can definitely benefit from this course. Because, let's face it, Online instruction is a real thing, and with the way things look in the world of education right now, it's not going away anytime soon. So if you have never taught an online course before, it can sound a little intimidating, and it can cause you to worry about how the course might be taught. We're here to tell you that when it comes to online language teaching, you have nothing to fear. There are so many different ways to transmit information and interact with your students that you'll be surprised at how easy it really is to use different types of technology. And who knows, it might even inspire you to start using more technology in your face-to-face -face classes. So although online language teaching shares many similarities with face-to-face -face instruction, it certainly comes with its own challenges and learning curves. And that's why we're here, so have no fear. We will walk you through the ins and outs of ESL instruction step by step. First, we will learn about how the online ESL classroom differs from the face-to-face -face instruction and review second language acquisitions theories and how they can be applied in online ESL instruction. After that, we will learn about how to apply task-based learning to online instruction. We will also go over lesson planning and how to implement error correction and feedback. Last, we will discuss common challenges faced in the online classroom. When you complete this course, you will be able to apply what you learned in this course to your final project. So, I am an ESL teacher trainer and teacher myself, and I have been tasked with designing an online course to certify teachers who want to teach ESL online. So my student, Brayden, who just finished his Teach English Now certificate MOOC in TESOL, also wants to get certified to teach ESL online. And since I am his mentor, I advised him to take a trip around the world and study other languages so that he can get a good perspective of what it is like to be an online language learner and put himself in the shoes of his future students. So here's the exciting part. Throughout the course, we will be following Brayden and I will be mentoring him while he travels. And in doing so, I will interview each of his online language teachers to get their ideas and expertise about what they do in their online language courses. Brayden's first stop is Brazil, then Turkey, then Pakistan, then Taiwan, and then finally South Korea. Once he mentioned to me that he would like to teach English in South Korea or teach Korean people online while living in the US. So I invite you to join Brayden and I in this online teaching journey around the world. Let's go learn together, step by step, and master the ins and outs of online ESL instruction. Are you ready? Let's go.